Hi, I'm going to talk to you now about your survival kit. There's a few things that you should definitely have in it. One thing that is optional is a little bit of tinder. You don't have to have this, but it's a good idea to just have so if everything else is wet and you need to start a fire, you can just use this tinder here, which is you know is going to be dry, and it's already dry because it's been in your pack the whole time. Also, you're going to want a headlamp or a flashlight. This is really good to have in case, again, you need to go out and it's dark, anything like that. You can pick them up at any outdoor store. I highly recommend you get one. Another thing that every survival kit should have is a good compass. This one works pretty good. I picked it up. You should definitely have a compass in case you need to orient your map to find your way out. One of the most important things in here is this whistle. Now, this whistle you can use to call for help. Three blasts will call for help, and there's a certain way to use it, which I will show you. Now, I won't actually blow this whistle because it is absolutely deafeningly loud, and I'll probably blow my ears out but the way you use it is you put it in your mouth cover your ears and then blow into the whistle make sure you cover your ears because it is absolutely deafeningly loud three blasts if you're calling for help remember three of anything always means help so you got your whistle your compass your headlamp another thing you might want is either a lighter, like I have here, or matches. Now a lighter's pretty good because it's fast fire, but the problem is if it gets if it ever gets wet, the flint in here gets wet, it's useless. It's not gonna work. So what you could have instead is a waterproof container like this, which has matches in it. Now you want to make sure the container's waterproof because if your matches get wet, they're not gonna light either. So if you've got matches in there, Make sure you have a striker. You can just take one off the side of a matchbox if you want. But make sure you've got the striker because you're going to need something to light your match with. So you've got your matches, you've got a lighter. So you can start fire with your tinder. Lastly, another optional thing to have that's very useful is a bit of string. It's not heavy, it's not big, but it's really good to have in case for some reason you got lost or stuck and you needed to make a shelter you could use this to tie stuff together you could use it to help make a splint anything you need just make sure you've got a little bit of string with you and it could come in handy so make sure you've got all these basic things for your survival kit and you'll be a lot safer